Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to have a quick look at layers and layer properties. So over on the right hand side, you have layers and you can see that's grayed out at the moment because I've got no shapes on the screen and layer properties, if I click on it, there are no layers at the moment in this particular basic diagram. I'll just close that for a second and go on to office furniture and just drag a storage unit on. If I go to layer properties now, you can see that there are, are some properties already set for that shape. So when you do a basic shape, so we'll go back to basic shapes, there are no layer properties set. So that's why that one was blank. We still got the ones from before, so I'll just remove those two. So normally that would just be blank like that. But you can create your own layer. So what I want to do is create two layers. And I'm going to create a red layer and a blue layer. So first one, this one. So you go to layers. Uh, assign to layer because there is no layers it lets you create a layer so I'll go red okay for that one and then okay and then on this one I'll go assign to layer new and I'll call it blue okay so I've got two layers red and blue now if you go back to the layers option and select layer properties you can see the properties for these two now both of them are visible, but if I tick that one, so that's not now visible, and then apply, that's disappeared, and then I'll bring it back, apply. Now you can lock these, and you can colour them, so this one uh, I'll select as blue, apply, that was the blue one. Then I'll just click OK to that, and then click on this one and go back into properties for that one and click on the red one and set a colour for that as red and then you can see apply and again if I take the tick off visible and apply that will disappear so you can create multiple layers on top of each other and then hide or show the different layers now if you lock these so I'll just bring that one back if I lock the blue layer that means I can't move that blue layer. So I'll just click apply to that and then OK. I can't select this or move it. Still can select and move that one because that one's not locked. So layer properties allows you to create layers and lock and colour layers. The snap and glue features are already there. You can either have it active or locked. You can't have them both. So if I tick locked, I can't tick active. So it just flicks between the two. So I'll take the locks off for this one and I'm going to delete these two. Now when you click on um, delete the layer, it says it's going to delete all the shapes. So I'll just say yes for that because I've finished with them. Remove. OK. So they both go. So that was the basic shapes and they don't have any layers preset. So what I want to do now is quickly do a, a little room. So if I bring that on, the room itself, there will be layers there. So if I click Layer Properties, you've got two sets there. So while it's still selected, I'll uh, assign to Layer, and I'll create a new one and call it Floor. Call it Floor. And then I'll just take those two ticks off, because what you can do is you can create your own layer and then get rid of the preset one. So this is what I want to do. Click OK to that, and then go to layer properties and then I should be able to remove yeah leave floor that's mine remove and then okay to that still sitting there which is good now if I give that a color so if I go into layer properties give it a color so I'll give this one a red color click okay to that so there's my 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 own layer and if I bring a window in bring one window and then a window there I can hold my control key down and select these two and create a layer assign to layer um, new so this will I'll call this one windows 
with an S and take that tick off there and that tick off there. Click OK. You don't have to do this, guys. It's just a, the way I'm doing it. If I go back to layer properties, I can then get rid of the, the envelope and the window. And then OK. And then all mine's still sitting there. Now, if I bring a door on, the same process will apply. I can bring a door in, and then you can create a layer and lock that. Um, I'm not going to lock that. But what I want to do is bring some furniture in just to show you how this bit works. If I bring a table in, a huge table, and then put some um, office bits and bobs on there. In fact, I want some equipment. So what can I have? I'll have a, a telephone. Stick a telephone on there. And what else can I put on there? Notebook PC on there. And what I'll do, I think. A mouse. Go on, let's go for a mouse. So if I highlight the table and create a layer for the table, assign to layer, um, call it table, table, okay, and just take those two off, okay, so it's assigned to the table layer. Then if I click on these three items, so I'm holding my control key down to create a layer, and I'll call this Assign to layer, new, um, I'll call it office, okay, and then take it off all the other ones that are already preset, just make sure it's still on that one, okay, and then if I go back to layer properties, I can, for example, where the office is there, take the tick off it hides those three items if I take the tick off um, so some of these I need to get rid of actually because they're in the way so if I remove that and remove the computer building envelope remove movable furnishings remove power comms remove um, furniture remove I suppose you have to remember what you've called things, otherwise it can get a bit awkward. If I take that off, apply, so you can see that now. If I bring the office back on, apply, there's the three items. Bring the table back, apply. And then if you set the colours, uh, I haven't really done anything with the door, but if I set a colour for the office equipment as blue, dark blue there and the table I'll select that as yellow it's a bit bright but I'll, it'll do for this yellow and I'll leave the windows as they are so now if I take this tick off table apply there's a slight blue line around those that you can see so if I apply that back now you can see the table's gone yellow the yellow marker the office is is blue and everything else is okay. So if I want to lock these into position, so say that's how I want this to sit, I just tick lock, lock the table, lock the office, and then apply, and then okay. Well, I didn't need to go apply, I could have just gone okay on that one, but I can't now select any of these items, they're all locked in position, and still part of the layer, and the, others, the other areas are not locked, so I can move those, but in real life you would lock these as well. Otherwise you're going to be moving things out of sequence. Same with the doors. You could probably, if you're going to do more than one door, you might want to create a layer and adjust the properties. So that's how you create uh, layers for yourself and in all the diagrams. The only thing to be aware of, I suppose, is when you bring things on from preset stencils, they have their own layers. So you, you go and have a look, layer properties, what's in there. 
so that's brought a few things in um, that's coming in as a computer and equipment where else space has come in so you just have to be careful that you don't get overwhelmed with all the different preset layers but as you've seen you can reallocate shapes to your layers and then get rid of the the preset ones but that's the end of this session i hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for your time